what's up, man? Yeah, what's you. going on? You guys have been blowing up lately. Oh, thanks, oh, man. Thanks, Appreciate man. it. Just Thank been you, busy bro. traveling. Just came back from Europe. We did shows in Estonia, Finland, Greece, Spain, uh, Germany, and now we're here. And we're, we're excited to be here for the Teen Choice. Had to fly all the way from Zurich for the Teen Choice Awards. That's how much we're excited to be here. We're ready. Yeah. That's, that's how you know there's success involved in there. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to stay busy, man. A lot of flights involved, but it's good. Yeah, so, so how's the production process has been for you guys? You guys have been doing a couple collaborations. What is that like when you guys go into the studio together? Um, it's, it's awesome. We, we always have a good time together when we're in the studio. But lately it's been, it's been a little tough because we're traveling so much playing shows. So, you know, just the next few months we have a lot of time in the studio that we have planned out. So we're stoked to get back in there and work on an album and really solidify yeah. things. Yeah, but we're songwriters uh, first and foremost. So a lot of times we like to start with the song, the vocals, the lyrics, the melodies. Um, and then build out the production after that. For No Promises, we had uh, the gist of all the production in the song, and we thought the lyrical content was like perfect for Demi. Uh -huh. So we sent her the song, and she loved it, and just knocked it out in the studio in a couple hours with Trevor. So, yeah. now, being, being that you guys were a new act at the time, like how is it that you were able to to lock in such a major like singer like you know? Like I said before, we come from a songwriting background, and I I honestly think it, the song just really spoke to her for what she was going through at the time, and. And she, she heard it and knew that she would be a perfect fit for it. I mean, at the end of the day, like, this, the music is the most important thing, you know, for us. Yeah. So. Now, I know Trevor's background with music. What is your background with music? Did you guys always work on this kind of scene, the EDM scene? Did you guys work with the rock scene? Like no, we all come from different backgrounds. I used to be in a rock band, and then after that, I was in more of, like, a hip-hop group. I actually found uh, Kevy. I met him because he was a rapper. And I was a producer at the time, so we started collabing on that. And then he, he later was like, I think we should start DJing. And we're like, hey, whatever. I was roommates with Trevor. Uh, he, we started like listening to each other's music, started collabing, and we were like, let's, let's all do it together. And that's how we formed Cheat yeah. Codes. So. How similar is the writing process for the music that you do today as opposed to what you did in the past? I mean, I think it's similar. Like, like Matt said, we all come from a songwriter back, like, perspective in a, in a background. So it's one of those things where we still get in the room together and we think, OK, what's the cool concept? Like, What's the song about? Is that gonna? Is it? Can you just play it on piano and can it like stand by itself? You know, and then you go from that to creating a track around it. So for us, it's a, it's cool. It's a different process than most DJs and most electronic artists do it. Usually they start with a track and try to fit the vocal into it, but we like the vocal first and then, uh, you know. Another thing I you you mentioned earlier, working on an album, something that you don't hear too much with EDM artists. They usually do the whole single thing. Why do you guys want to do it different this time around? Do you guys feel like it, it works that way for yeah. the type of music you guys I are doing? I feel like if you just do a single, it's it's only telling a part of the story, you know? You got to tell a whole story, give a whole vibe, and we honestly haven't done that as a group yet, um, and it's something we really want to do. It's a goal of ours, so and we want to be able to do it for the fans so they can really understand, you know, the vibe that we're trying to create. Yeah, yeah definitely. Now, what's next for you guys? I know you guys just announced a show in LA uh, for September. What else can we expect from you guys? Um, we're gonna be touring all over the country, honestly. But like I said, we're working on the album, and uh, we're, we're gonna make sure that, that over the next few months that we have time to actually get in the studio because we've been so busy lately. So, anyone in particular you guys want to work with as far as the producer goes, or is this all between the three of you? Um, more, more like collaborations with different vocalists. I think is more interesting for us. Like, I would love to work with some old school like classic uh, rock guys that have never been on a dance song before like Elton John or Paul McCartney something like that just to blend the genres and see what we come up, come up with you know totally yeah anybody that you wouldn't expect to be on a dance song is what interests us